Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Well, so it's already time uh, to start probably the other ones are going to be connected throughout the session. I understand that this is the first day, probably not some of, not all of you are going to be here on the first one. So, but first of all, I would like to know if you can hear me like clearly, there's no interference or something. You hear me clearly? Oh, can you guys hear me? Hello, good yes, evening. Yes, teacher. Okay, cool. Perfect. So, um, well, some of you I remembered from previous classes. Uh, it's really nice to know that some of you are still here trying to learn a new language. And uh, well, we're going to keep on moving, trying to understand new things and trying to improve uh, all the things that you already learned. So as I said before, probably uh, the other students are going to be connecting in some minutes because, you know, it is the first day. So I don't know how many students we are in total, but um, we are going to try to learn as much as possible, okay? So before we start, guys, just let me tell you that in case you do not understand something or while I'm explaining something, you don't understand what I'm saying, I need you to tell me or to let me know that you do not understand so I can try to help you, I can try to explain you, and we can try to figure everything out, okay? So feel free to ask any question. If you have any questions or something that you would like to ask me, ask the questions, okay? It doesn't really matter how many questions you, you ask, ask how ma as many questions as you want, okay? So everything is going to be clear. Uh, so, let me introduce myself for the ones that did not know me. Uh, my name is Nelson Ramirez, and I'm going to be here with you during this module, okay? So I'm already in the WhatsApp group. In case you have questions, in case you have something that you would like to ask me, or if you are not going to come to the class because you have uh, something else to do, you know that you can reach me through the WhatsApp group and you can ask any question, okay? So once again, for the ones that just connected, uh, my name is Nelson Ramirez and we're going to be working together through this module, okay? So, um, let me see, I see people still connecting. I know how many people we're going to be, but I'm guessing it's going to be more than 15 or something like that. So is everyone listening to me clearly? Yes, teacher. Perfect. Okay, so um, I will require from you guys to try to speak uh, as much English as possible, okay? So if you really do not know how to say something, we are going to try to switch like Spanglish, right? but please try to speak as much English as possible. Because remember, this is the only time that you have uh, like to, to study actually, to practice it and to try to be there learning, okay? So please, and the practices, I will request you to speak in English, okay? So as I said, if you really don't know how to say something, it's fine. Once again, if you are not understanding or something, let me know, okay? Let me know. So I'm going to be here and I'm going to explain you once again. So we're going to start with today's class, guys. Welcome once again to this module. And we're going to start with today's class. Today is going to be, in your case, guys, a little bit of like a brief detail or a brief information of something that you probably already know. Okay, so just let me share the slide with you. And just let me know if you can see it. Can you see it? Yes or no? 
Yes. 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 Okay. Very good. So we're going to. Uh, this is just general information about myself. I mean, just general information or something, just for you to know a little bit about me. And uh, well, that's that's it. Okay. So let's move on with what we're going to see today. Today, guys, we are going to focus on adverbs of frequency and also what are the questions that we use to use adverbs of frequency because we have some questions that we need to know when we use adverbs of frequency. I'm pretty sure that some of you already know what I'm talking about because since it is the first class, we're going to have like a review from the previous phase or the previous module you had. So uh, some of you might know already what I'm talking about, or you already know some of them, because we use them in the English language um, every single day. And sometimes we just speak and we just say, or we just use them, but sometimes we don't know the this, this specific topic, okay? So, when I say adverbs of frequency, does any one of you have any idea of what I'm talking about? Any idea? Are you understanding, guys? <clears throat> some, some, <clears throat> sometime. Something. Um, sometime, okay. Sometime. Um... Never. Never, okay. Always. Always. Okay. Yeah, so you have uh, an idea of, of some, some of them, okay? Of them. Uh, as, as I said okay. before, it's going to be today because it is the first class that we're going to have. This is just an introduction for you to remember how to use them. And it's going to be an introduction or something for you to remember about the previous module or the module that you already had. Since you are going to pre-intermediate, so it, it, it means that you are almost there, so. These are some of them, guys, and they are called adverbs of frequency. Okay. We use adverbs of frequency when we want to know or when we want to say with how much frequency we do things. For example, we have, let me see, we have, just let me, let me get the picture here. We have always, usually, Normally, Normally, generally, generally, this one we can say it, we can pronounce it often, or we can say often, either or often. the pronunciation it can be both. If you want to say often. often, that's okay. If you want to say often, that's fine. Both pronunciations are correct, or if you want to say frequently, sometimes. Occasionally, seldom, hardly ever, rarely, and never, okay? So uh, I think that some of you, uh, you said some of them, so I'm pretty sure that you already know how to pronounce them. So I will ask someone randomly just to verify the pronunciation. Uh, Mr. Arnoldo Castellón, are you there? Hi. Hello. Can you please try to make the pronunciation of all of them? This one's right here. Just, I just want to listen to you. Okay. Always. Okay. Usually. Mm -hmm. Normally. Generally. Often. Frequently. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, occasionally, seldom, hardly ever, rarely, never. Okay, thank you very much. That was Thanks. so. Let me see someone else. Uh, 
Let me see. Rosemary Isamar. Always. Okay, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Usually, mm -hmm. normally, generally, or generally. Generally. No, generally. 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 Uh -huh. Often, frequently, mm -hmm. sometimes, mm -hmm. occasionally. Hey, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Occasionally. Occasionally. Seldom. Hardly ever. Rarely. Never. Rarely. Rarely. We do not say rarely. rarely, okay? Rarely. And the last one, never. Okay, thank you very much. Luis, can you please help me, Luis? Thank you. Okay. Uh, always. Mm -hmm. Usually. Normally, generally, mm -hmm. often, frequently, mm -hmm. sometimes, occasionally, 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 mm -hmm. seldom, hardly ever, rarely, and never. Okay, so... Um... It's very important, guys, also to, to try to make the right intonation of the things, and you are going to understand that tomorrow. Because in tomorrow's class, we are going to have, or we are going to practice how to make the right pronunciation of the words. Because sometimes uh, when you speak with native speakers of the language, sometimes they are not able to understand what you're saying because sometimes we say or we pronounce things like in the Spanish, you know, because we are used to speaking Spanish every day. When we go to the supermarket, everyone is speaking Spanish. When you go out of your house, when you go to school, when you go to the university, when you go to work, everyone around us is speaking Spanish. So sometimes we are just used to that. And that's the reason why sometimes we, we say some words and this with the Spanish accent, okay? So uh, we are going to be working on that. So in the last one that I would like you to help me, it's, let me see. Fatima Guardado, can you please help me? Always, mm -hmm. usually, normally, generally, often, frequently, Mm -hmm. Sometimes, occasionally, occasionally, yes. seldom, hardly ever, rarely, and never. Okay, thank you very much. So, um, so those are the adverbs of frequency that we have in the English language, guys. And we are going to see some examples of how we can use them in sentences. We have some sentences right here. And I would like you to help me reading. So I will ask Elizabeth Giron to help me with the first one, Sonia Araceli with this one, number two, Claudia Carolina with number three, Juan Cruz with number four. Let me see, uh, Nancy Gutierrez with number five, uh, Vilma Melendez, number six, Nancy Maldonado, number seven, let me see, Emperatriz Lopez, number eight. And last one, Damaris Vega, number nine. Okay, so you already know your number, so help me. Go ahead. I always study after class. Okay, what's your name? Elizabeth Hiro. Elizabeth, okay. So Elizabeth, here when we pronounce when we pronounce this verb, <clears throat> study, every, yes. sing, every single time, guys, that we have a word that starts with the letter S, sometimes we make the mistake of pronouncing a letter E at the beginning. We say something like a study. You listen, we say the letter E, a study, but in English. We just have to make the sound of the letter S. So we just say study, okay? 
every single time that we have a, a word that it starts with the letter S, just with those words, okay? For the next time. Thank you very much, Elizabeth. So number two. Who got number two? Hello. Yes, I can hear you. I usually go out to work. Very good. Very good. Thank you very much. Who got number three? Number three. Well, I think that you forgot. Who got number three? Don't you remember? Well, okay. So we're going to have Arnoldo. So you raise your hand. Okay, go ahead, Arnoldo. Um, puedo leer, number three. Yes, just go ahead. Thank you very much. I normally get good marks. Very good, thank you. Who got number four? Thanks. I often read in bed at night. Thank you very much. The next one, number five. I sometimes sing in the shower. In the shower, okay? Shower. Okay, next one. I occasionally go to bed late. Okay, thank you very much. The next one. I seldom put salt on my food. Very good. The next one. I had I hardly ever get angry. angry. Thank you. Angry, okay. Angry. Thank you very much. Thank you. The last one. Vegetarians never eat meat. Very good. Okay, so this module, guys, is going to be more focused in your pronunciation. So every single time that you do not pronounce something correctly, I will always let you know, okay? So if I listen to you mispronouncing any word or something like that, I will let you know. We do not pronounce that way, we pronounce this way. So for the next time, you will already know how to pronounce it and it's going to be easier for you. So you're going to be getting used to the language and the correct pronunciation of the words, okay? So um, in this case, guys, uh, these are just general examples of how to use the, some of the adverbs of frequency, but also we can have, or the formula that we need to follow in order to create affirmative sentences R is the following one. We have to use the subject plus the adverb of frequency, which can be any of these ones, plus the main verb. And obviously we have a complement. So we have another example here, which it says, Daniel always passes his exams. Okay, so as we can see, Daniel is the subject, always is the adverb of frequency, and the main verb is the verb pass. Why do I have the letter ES on this verb right here, guys? Why do I change the verb there? Can someone tell me why do we change the verb there? Hello, any idea? Why do we change the verb? Why do we modify the verb? No, nobody, nobody because knows. Because it's a third person. Because it is and third person. Yes. Yes, thank you very much, Vilma, I appreciate that. So, you know, every single time that we use third person, we usually, or we normally, you see I'm using an adverb of frequency there, modify the verb. Why? As Vilma says, we are using the third person. And that's the reason why we are modifying the verb we are adding ES, okay? Perfect, thank you very much. We also know 
that we can use some adverbs of frequency with the verb be. So we can use this formula, the subject, the verb be, and the adverb. As you can see here, guys, the difference between using the verb be and using a different verb is that when we are not using the verb be, the adverb of frequency goes right between the subject and the main verb. But when we use the verb be, this, the adverb of frequency goes after the verb be. As you can see, that's one of the main things that you have to remember. Because sometimes we make the mistake of saying, he always is. But in English, we cannot say that. That's grammatically incorrect. So remember when we use the verb be, the adverb of frequency is going to be after the verb be, not before, okay? So that's the only thing that you need to remember. That's gonna happen only when we are using the verb be, not with all the verbs, just with the verb be. Keep that in mind, okay? So it's also very important to know, guys, which adverbs of frequency I can use at the beginning, which cannot use, at the beginning, because some of them have some rules or some grammatical situations or placements where we have to put it when it comes to creating a sentence. So I will need a volunteer or someone that would like to help me reading. All right, teacher. Okay, Luis, go ahead. Help me reading this part. This part, please. Okay. Usually, mm -hmm. normally, often, frequently, sometime, occasionally. Mm -hmm. Occasionally, I like to eat Thai food. Okay. But we cannot. Go ahead. Say, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Okay, okay. But we cannot use the following at the beginning of a sentences. Always, seldom, rarely, hardly, ever, never. Okay, so basically guys, what it's saying here is that, well, I was gonna tell you, Luis, that I can still listen that you are having some issues in pronunciating this word occasionally, okay? So I see that some of you are still occasional. Keep in mind that. Occasionally. Occasional, okay. So what it's saying here, guys, is that some adverbs of frequency, I can use them at the beginning of the sentence. How, how is that possible? As you can see here on this example, we are using the adverb of frequency at the beginning, but right after the adverb of frequency, we have a comma. So every single time that we use some of these adverbs of frequency at the beginning, we are going to use a comma to make a small pause. So when we talk, it won't sound weird. For example, what if this comma was not here? ¿Qué pasaría si esa comma no estaba ahí? It will sound like, occasionally I like to eat Thai food. But what if I say, occasionally, pause, I like to eat Thai food. You listen to the difference? That's the difference that we do when we speak. Why? Because that coma there is making a small pause. You're making a small pause when you're speaking, okay? So these adverbs of frequency that I have here I can use them at the beginning of a sentence, but the ones I cannot use at the beginning of the sentence are always, seldom, rarely, hardly ever, and never. Those ones I can never ever use them at the beginning. I cannot say always, I like to eat Thai food. No, I cannot say that even though uh, if I use a coma, it will still not make sense. So we gotta be careful with that. 
Is there any questions so far, guys? Are we understanding? Is it clear till the moment? Is it clear? Do you have any doubt, any question, or something that you would like me to explain you again? No? No. Teacher. Yes. Um, in the, um, is often or often? And that one, uh, as I said at the beginning, we can say often or often. The pronunciation, both pronunciations are correct. So it's okay. up to you. If you feel more comfortable saying often, okay, say often. Or if you feel more comfortable saying often, you can say often. Either or. Both are going okay. to be correct. Okay, thanks. All right. So is there any other questions so far? So far, so good. Well, I will take that silent as a yes. Okay, so we're going to move on. So it says here, we use hardly ever and never with positive and not negative verbs. How is that possible? Okay, so if I use hardly ever, hardly ever, I'm going to use it with the positive sentences, like this example I have here. She hardly ever comes to, to my parties. But if I want to say negative, I won't use any auxiliary here because I automatically, if I automatically use the adverb of frequency never, I am automatically giving a negative sense to the sentence. For example, if I say they never say thank you, when I say that, people automatically understand but that's a negative sense. But I could also say they don't say thank you. It will be the same thing as if I say they never say thank you. Okay, so we understand that part. But again, I will take that silence as a yes. Okay, so I will move on. Yes. Okay. In the sentences, negative, mm -hmm. uh, we ocupare, bueno, ocuparemos esos verbos eh, en lugar de no, del no. Uh, the adverbs? Yes, I mean. You, ah, los adverbs. Yeah, because if you say never, if you say never, automatically you are saying no, automatically, never. Uh, un sentido negativo. I don't know if you understand what I mean. Automatically, when you say never, you give a negative sense to that. But you could also say, they don't say thank you. And that will also be negative. But when you use an adverb of frequency, such as never, that will also be automatically negative. So you don't have to say, they don't never, because that will be incorrect so you can you can use either one or the other one sí, porque entonces dijera, él no nunca. exactly you see it's like doesn't make sense it sounds even weird so it's like you're double doubling negation you're making a double negative so doesn't make sense so that's why we gotta be careful with that if we say if we use never we don't have to make another negative because never is automatically negative. That's what I mean. Well, I think that that was clear. So we're going to move on for the questions. I'm pretty sure that you have seen questions like this ones when we use ever. It's like, have you ever been to New Zealand? This ones, it can be used in questions when you ask questions like, ¿Alguna vez has estado en New Zealand, Nueva Zelanda? Have you ever been to New Zealand? And this one, it can also be used in negative. Why am I using here? ¿Por qué aquí sí estoy usando un negativo? La negación y estoy usando ever. Because in this case, cuando yo hago un negativo, yo puedo utilizar ever. Y sería lo mismo as it says here. It will be the same as if I say 
I have never been. So as you can see, I can say either I haven't ever been to Sutherland or I can say I have never been Sutherland. Do you guys understand what what it what what it's there? I mean, do you understand why do we use that? It is understandable. Only that is for the contraction. The contraction, I really don't understand what you mean. In the in the sentence, I haven't ever. Uh no, no, no. I mean, this is the negative form. The negative. So if I use a negative here, I can use an adverb of frequency, which is ever here. So if I use uh, the negative form here and I use ever, that will still be grammatically correct. But if I don't use the negative form here and I use never, as you can see here, that's why it says, I can say I haven't ever been to Sutherland or the same as if I say, I have never been Sutherland. So it's here, as you can see, we are not longer using this negative form because we already have never, which I said that is negative automatically. So we don't have to repeat a double negative. I don't know if you understand. Yes, thank you. Okay, perfect. So if we don't have questions, is there any questions so far? So far, so good, guys. Ask the questions, guys. If you are not understanding, ask the questions. Feel free to ask, okay? Because we are here to learn. And if you have questions, ask as much questions as you have. So I will ask, um, let me see. I will ask Alba Marisol, can you please help me reading all this part we have right here? Alba Marisol, are you there? Hello. We can, can barely. You las dos oraciones? No, from here, all this here. The position of the advert in a sentence. Mm -hmm. An advert of frequency was before I might bear except with to be. Okay. So that uh, los advert los my bear mm -hmm. I always remember to do my Homework. Homework. He normally get gold mark in, in exam. Okay. So we have here once again just the, the same formula that we already saw. Just as a reminder for you to remember how to to not forget how to use that. Okay. Uh he normally gets good marks in exams again. Subject, adverb, and main verb when we're using any other verb than B. Because in B, we already know that it changes, okay? It goes subject, verb, B, and then we go the adverb, okay? They are never pleased to see me. She isn't usually bad-tempered, okay? So I will need, let me see, Nancy Maldonado to help me reading this part right here. Thank you very much. When we use an auxiliary verb, have, will, must, might, could, would, can, the adverb is placed between the auxiliary and the main verb. This is okay. also true for to be. Okay. Subject plus auxiliary plus adverb plus may bear. Okay, leave it there. Thank you very much. So as it said here, guys, when we use auxiliaries such as have, will, must, might, could, and would, or can, etc., here, it's gonna change or it's going to change a little bit because we're going to have the subject plus an auxiliary 
Then we are going to use the adverb. And after that, we are going to use the main verb. So when I say something like, she can sometimes beat me in a race, or if I said they could occasionally be heard laughing, what do you understand if I say something like, she can sometimes beat me in a race? What do you understand by that sentence? Does any one of you can tell me? What do you guys understand by that sentence? Guys, I understand it is the first class, but don't be as shy. Don't be afraid of participating, okay? Because if you participate, we are going to know the way you pronounce and we can help you to improve your pronunciation too. Well, if nobody wants to participate, I will democraticamente select one. So I will say, Patricia Rodriguez, let's go. What do you understand, Patricia, when I say something like, she can sometimes beat me in a race? What do you understand by that sentence? In Spanish, teacher. Yeah, of course, in Spanish. Oh, okay. Ella puede algunas veces derrotarme in my race. Not really. Race. In a race, what's a race? Carrera. 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 In my okay. carrera. Oh. Yeah, like that. But it was good. Thank you very much. Okay. That's, that's what it means. Thank you very much, Patricia. So that's what it means. She can sometimes beat me in a race. So as you can see, we just have to remember how to use that. So we, when, when we know how to use it, we don't make mistakes. Okay, so let's move on. This is the part, guys, where we are going to be focusing on today, because I need you to know which is the question that we are going to ask when we use an adverbs of frequency. The question that you are going to ask when you want to know the frequency of something is, how often or how often? So this is the question that we have to use when you want to know the frequency of something. For example, if I ask something to Vilma Melendez, if I ask you, how often do you brush your teeth? I brush my teeth every day. Every day, okay, that's fine. Let me see, let me try to get another answer. Rosemary, if I ask you, Rosemary Samar, if I ask you the question like, how often do you uh, cook? How often do you cook? What would your answer be to that question? How often do you cook? Do you have any idea? Or not at all? No, I don't know. Okay, no problem. It's fine. Uh, will anyone would like to help me with that question? How often do you cook? Can someone help me with that uh, answer to that question? How, would how often does it significa? How often it means que tan a menudo? How often que tan a menudo? How often do you cook? Que tan mm. cocinas? Do you have any possible answer to that question? No? Or just try to say something, just try. Tratemos a lo que salga. And then if it is not correct, I will help you to do it like in a correct way. But if you don't know how to say something, it's fine. That's that's fine too, okay? So let me... Um, let... Sometimes in the weekend. Okay. All right, thank you. Let me see, uh, Alba Marisol, are you there?
Alba, hello. Well, she's not there, yes? No, no he comprendido bien. You have not understood that? Okay, guys. So, the question, la pregunta que vamos a utilizar to know about the adverbs, para saber de los adverbios is how often, or how often, which means, que, es, que significa, que tan a menudo, okay? So when someone asks you a question like, we have examples right here, see? ¿sí? Tenemos how often, los auxiliares, estos auxiliares son para qué? Presente, pasado, o para qué? Let me, let me see. Presente. Present, present. ¿Para qué? ¿Para cuáles pronombres yo utilizo do? Which pronouns do I use do? I, he. I, Ajá. we, they. Okay. Yeah, I, we, they. What about does? She, 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 she and it. She. Very good. What happened? ¿Qué pasa si yo aquí tuviese... Uh, did, ¿qué tiempo estuviera yo? ¿Qué auxiliar? Tiempo. Did. Past time. Pasado. Past. Very good. Past time. So, the, the only thing, the reason why I'm asking you this is because it's very important that you know that. So, we have how often at the beginning, auxiliary, and the bird. Example, how often do you go to the cinema? ¿Qué tan a menudo vas al cine? Right? Or if I say, how often does Mary go? Okay. ¿Qué tan a menudo María cocina? Okay. So that's the way that you have to uh, create a question. Cuando yo respondo, ¿cómo respondo a esto? For example, if I say, let's imagine, imaginar que alguien me pregunta a mí, hey, how often do you go to the cinema? Okay. I always go to the cinema. I usually go to the cinema. I never go to the cinema. ¿Sí? En la respuesta, in the answer of that question, we are always going to use adverbs of frequency. ¿Sí? Or I could say, I go to the cinema twice. A day, twice a week, twice a month, twice a year. ¿Sí? Y estas son otras palabras de frecuencia that we can also use. Normally, cuando estamos aprendiendo inglés, cometemos el error de decir one time, two times, ¿sí? which is, it's understandable, es entendible. Pero este es lenguaje callejero, let's say it like that in English, right? Pero si usted quiere hablar un lenguaje profesional, usted va a decir once, para referirse a una vez. If you want to say two times, you are going to say twice. Eso es lo que significa dos veces, twice. Not saying, no, con esto no les estoy diciendo que si ustedes dicen two times, es incorrecto, no. The difference here is que uno es formal y el otro es informal, okay? So that's that's the main reason of that, okay? Is it clear? Yes. Very yes, teacher. So, a partir de la tercera vez, so in that case, I'm going to say three times, four times, five times, six times, and so on, and so on, and so on. It will depend of how many times you're going to do that, okay? So these are also, as I said, some other words of frequency. Now, let me try to see. Nancy Gutierrez, if I ask you the question, how often do you buy vegetables? How often do you buy vegetables? What would you answer be to that question? Well, you know what? I mm -hmm. I never I never I never what? 
I never buy vegetables. I never buy vegetables. Okay, now this question is going to be for everyone. Esta pregunta es para todos. What I need you to do is to type, escribir su respuesta en el chat de la llamada, okay? So the question for all of you is, how often cut your hair? How often do you cut your hair? Okay, let me see your answers on the chat. The question, how often do you cut your hair? How often do you cut your hair? Write it on Shut the chat, please. Shut the group. Okay, I see Damaris Vega. She says every three months. Okay, once a month. Try. I sometimes, I sometimes what, Araceli? Okay, what about the other ones? I just can see three answers there. Just three people have replied to what I said. The question is, how often do you cut your hair? How often do you cut your hair? I cut my hair twice a year. That was a good answer, an excellent answer. I cut my hair twice a year. I said, well, cut my hair. That's a good answer too, because you're giving a general context to that. Very good. Excellent. I sometimes cut, well, not here. That's not here. I sometimes cut my hair. I cut my hair once a month. Okay, Maximo, that's perfect too. Sonia Araceli, okay, that's better. What about the other ones? One cruise, once a month. Still missing some context. Aún me falta un contexto ahí, Juan Cruz. Because if you say once a month, once a month, ¿qué? Una vez al mes, ¿qué? Give more context. Nancy Maldonado, I once a month got my hair. It's the all the way opposite. Al revés, we say, I cut my hair once a month. All the way opposite. Okay, I can see Emperatriz. I usually cut the hair. Okay, I cut my hair twice a month. Elizabeth, very good. Cut my hair, everything. Excellent, Damaris. That's better. Because now you're giving me more context. What about the other ones? I cut my hair once a month. Very good one. Now it's better because now you give me the whole sentence. You give me more clear the idea. We are not, are not the one sometimes here. Well, not really. Not really, Arnoldo, because you're using once. Usando dos palabras de frecuencia right there. You're saying once and you're saying sometimes at the same time. Okay, what about the other ones, guys? We are nine, 18 on the call and just a few people are participating. What about the other ones? Well, thank you so much for the people who is participating. Remember that that is part of your learning process. Okay, if you're going to know how to how to say things. Let me see. Rosemary Samara cut hair once a year. Okay, that's good. Nancy, you're saying every two months, but what? ¿Qué pasa cada dos meses? Give me more context. Because if you only say that, it's not complete. The sense of the sentence is not complete yet. So Thank you very much for the ones that already participated and for the ones that improved the sentence. Perfect. I appreciate that. So here we have some more guys, some more words of frequency. We can see every evening, every morning, every night, every day, every weekend, every Saturday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and so on and so on. We can say all the days of the week. Okay. You say week, year, and so on, okay? 
We have an example right here, which it says, Mary cooks every day. I play tennis every Sunday, okay? As it says here, this little chart in green, very important, guys. The rest of the frequency expressions are placed at the end. Siempre las palabras de frecuencia, solo las palabras, porque ya los adverbos ya sabemos dónde se ponen. Just words of frequency are going to be placed at the end, al final, at the end of the sentence. Remember that, okay? Okay, that's better, Nancy. Thank you very much. Guys, do you have any questions so far? Preguntas hasta el momento. Is it clear? Está claro como que hacemos un examen ahorita y todos sacan 10. Yes. Okay. Just Max, Maximo is the only one who is agreeing with that. But about the other ones, is that clear, guys? I need a yes or no. Is that clear? Do you have any question? Do you have any doubt, any comment, or something that you would like me to tell you once again? Not. Okay, Samsung. Well, I don't know your name. It's just Samsung there. But, okay. All right. So if there's no questions, we're supposed to. This is the the same information that we just saw, but this is uh, like uh, all the information that we saw, explain or detail the compressed information of everything that we just saw, okay? The way that you have to use things, some examples, what can you say, what cannot you say, and things like that, okay? Let me ask you a question. Let me see. If I want to know, let me see. My first class is very hard. I understand. I understand. But if, as I said at the beginning, if you have questions, si hay preguntas, si hay dudas, comments, or something like that, ask. Because we're here to help you. Si estamos acá para ayudar, okay? So, let me ask you. Uh, uh, let me see. We're going to do a practice right now. I Every one of you, todos, de nuevo, una oración, I need you to create one sentence, una oración, utilizando adverbs of frequency, cualquiera de los adverbios de frecuencia, through the chat, okay? So we will check if you understood, if there's something that you didn't understand, we are going to check that right now, everyone, Okay. Son 18 personas en the call. So, necesito ver 18 oraciones, ¿ok? Let's go. It's just one sentence using an adverb of frequency. We have Maximo. I always go the board in the morning. Okay, I always go to the work, okay. I don't know, I don't understand what you mean. It's like, siempre voy a el trabajo, is that what you mean? Yes. Well, in that case, we don't use the, we just say- uh, oh, we Job, 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 job. Oh, oh yes, that's job. that, uh-huh, yeah. Very yeah. good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's perfect. I understand that. So, but it's good. It's a good sentence. Okay. I can see Nancy. Okay. You go to the gym. That's perfect. Fine. Arnoldo, she is always in the farts. Very good. Patricia, who always drives his car. Very good. Now I can see there that you, that you buy the bird. I wake up early. Every morning. Okay, the sentence is correct, Luis, but you use a word. Utilizaste una palabra y no una palabra de frecuencia y no un adverbio de frecuencia, but that's fine. I mean, the sentence is perfect. 
Usually I drive my car once. Wow, that's that's good. Because Bilma, that's that's very interesting because you use another verb of frequency at the beginning plus the comma, and then at the end you're using a word of frequency. Very good. Rosemary, I wash my clothes twice a week. Very good. That might normally it's pupusas in the morning. Okay. Samsung, I can see a Samsung, but I don't know who you are. I usually go to the car, but that's fine. I always, I always to sleep at nine. What are you trying to say with that sentence, Elizabeth? Hello? What, what do you mean by that sentence? I always to sleep. Me voy a dormir. Oh, okay. I always go. Ay, sí, lo olvidé. <laughs> yeah, it's not there. Fatima, I rarely drink water on the week. Really? Is that true? You rarely do that? Wow. I usually eat pupusas in the morning. Okay, very good. So, thank you so much for the ones that already sent their example. Much. I can see the majority of you already did it. Some of you are still there. Espero que hayan sido ejemplos de ustedes, ¿verdad? Que no se hayan ido al internet, solo copiar y pegar, ¿verdad? Porque yo también fui estudiante, and I know that sometimes nos pican las manos, ¿verdad? And we, are do, we, we usually do that, okay? Hope this is an example of your own, ¿sí? Es un ejemplo de ustedes. I will early ever. Yes, right. it's my own myself. Okay. That's perfect. No, no, I mean, that's up to you. Because remember, at the end of the day, if you're practicing, you will be better at what, at what we're practicing, okay? Teacher, and you can uh, send us the, this presentation, but Yo, I can put it in for uh, my study or? Yeah, sure. I need sure. to study? Yeah, okay. sure, no problem. Uh, at the, well, I can send, well, I will try. But to tomorrow. I will try to send it to you like today after the class or tomorrow morning. Okay. okay. Thank you, teacher. But I will send it to you so you can have it in, in case you want to practice. All right. So there are some practices there that you can also do it by yourself. Okay. Because we are not going to do it right now because of the time. With the time, it is pretty much almost, well, almost nine o'clock. So uh, we're to try to do this one because it's very simple just to try to order things let me see uh, let me see maximo do you have any idea of how to put these words in the correct order the letter b do you have any idea yes teacher okay can you try to put it in order we have I know we sometimes have pizza for dinner. Excellent, very good. Okay, I like the fact that you that you were saying the wrong thing and then you correct yourself because you know it's not correct. Thank you very much for that. Okay, let me see. Uh, Sony Araceli, do you have any idea of what it says in in letter C? Try to yes. put it in order. Yes. Okay. I never talk to strangers. To strangers. A strangers. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay. Uh, these exercises are going to be in the presentation. As I said, I'm going to send you this presentation just in case you want to study by yourself or you want just to check the information once again or in case something was not was not clear for you. So just let me, just let me double check this information. Okay, for tomorrow guys, uh, it will be very important that you, that you uh, attend to the class because tomorrow we are going to have a stressing and pronunciation of words, okay? So that's going to be pretty much all for today's guys. 
Thank you so much for coming to the class. And I see you tomorrow at the same time by the same channel, okay? Have a good night. Okay, thanks. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Thanks, bye.